All right, now for more insight, we're going to bring in our very fair and balanced political panel, Josh Kimbrell. He is a contributor for Red State, Garland Nixon, Democratic radio host. Gentlemen, thanks for joining. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to start with you, Garland, actually. So we hear here the president is saying, thank you, Adam Schiff, for acknowledging what I've been saying. If there was Russian meddling, which I never said there wasn't, that's what the president's clarifying now in his new tweets, he's saying it's on Obama. Your response to that? Uh, my response to that is, personally, as, as, as a person who, you know, is uh, uh, one of the left, I'm happy to see this, and I hope that it means that this thing is winding down, because the Democratic Party has an election. They better wake up and realize they have an election in nine months. Do you and think they need President to move on. Obama did know about it and didn't do enough to stop it. Um, I don't. I really don't know because we don't have enough information here. Even these indictments. I mean, the fact of the matter is, if you look at these indictments, quite honestly, if you look at the elements that Robert Mueller found necessary to initiate uh, this this investigation and, and ultimately the charges. If you applied those elements to Christopher Steele, you'd probably have to charge him, too. Mm. <laughs> so yeah. the fact of the matter is, I think there's problems all around here. Josh, go ahead and get you in there. Well, look, I think Peter Strzok and Linda Page and the exchanges they had make pretty clear that on some level, President Obama knew about it. I mean, we learned, what, a week ago that they were giving information to then-director Comey because, quote, Obama wanted to know everything we're doing. So to say that he knew nothing about it, I think, would be uh, a stretch at best. The American people, in my view, especially home in South Carolina, are looking at 13 indictments of Russian nationals and thinking, all right, a million dollars was given by a, a buddy of Vladimir Putin to try and create social media chaos that no outcome on the election, no effect on the outcome of the election. A lot of folks are thinking, wh when are we going to see indictments of leadership and folks in the FBI who clearly did try to meddle uh, in the election process? I mean, again, Peter Strzok, Linda Page, we need an insurance plan against the president or, or Trump maybe being elected. And sure, I think people I, I are concerned about I think that. some people are, but a lot of people are, are quite frankly not as concerned with the Nunes memo in this point because these Russian indictments seem to be taking the wind out of that. Back to your point, though, Garland, sure. let's say to what Josh is bringing up about what President Obama in his administration probably knew, certainly there's evidence to support that, and him saying that he didn't want to necessarily meddle, or it's being reported that he didn't want to meddle, he didn't want to look like he was impacting it in favor of Hillary Clinton, let's say. Hmm. Is that a legitimate reason for President Obama, if he knew, to not intercede? Certainly. If he knew that, certainly, then there's a, there's a law enforcement investigation going on. And if the pre and, and as we know, when, when there is an investigation of this nature, oftentimes the president or the attorney general is the ultimate arbiter of the, the direction. So a president should back away from this um, and allow Even it to happen. Even if there was a national security threat? Well, I mean, what, how do well, it wasn't know? determined. Yeah, there was an allegation. Well, let me say there was an allegation of a na national security threat. There still hasn't been a determination that there was anything that actually changed president the President Obama mm -hmm. said he did not talk to the director of the FBI, he said he did not talk to the attorney general, that he would not have any involvement in the investigation at all. We clearly know, again, go back to Peter Strzok, Linda Page, he was asking for updates. Now, Director Comey uh, also said in testimony before Congress he had only met with President Obama on three occasions, twice in 2015, one in 2016. Now we know in a memo from former National Security Advisor Rice that he met with President Obama January 5th, 2017. With Vice President Biden. So we so know, clearly so there's we know that, that there's he probably... knew more. He knew more than he let okay, on. So we're going to leave the that there quickly because we don't have much time. Hogan Gidley, this, I'm going to call for this. He actually was saying on Fox News earlier this weekend that certainly uh, there is, let's see, we'll get that call up in a second. But Hogan is basically talking about the fact that Rod Rosenstein said very plainly that there was not necessarily any collusion evidence at this point in time. President Trump sees that as a vindication. Josh, uh, is the president premature in saying that's a vindication when we know this is an ongoing investigation? It's a vindication that the Trump administration or Trump campaign was involved in helping the Russians. I mean, clearly, no one denies that the Russians tried to interfere in some form or fashion with the election. But there is no evidence. Well, at the president all. did no question at that at some point, well, right, Josh? Generally, early on, but he quickly got okay. past that. I mean, sure. people on both sides now agree the Russians tried to intervene, tried to have an effect. But at the end of the day, the Trump campaign had no involvement. And now we know these 13 Russian nationals got a million dollars from a buddy of Vladimir Putin and had no effect on the outcome of the election. It's, to use what was Hillary Clinton's word, a nothing burger here. Okay, but we both know, gentlemen, that this is an ongoing investigation. At this point, though, the DOJ is saying no evidence of Trump collusion so far. So Thank far. You I both. agree. Thank you both Thank for joining. You.